out of all of the non-division winners, Dallas has the best odds to reach the Pro Football Championship at plus 550 and a 21% chance, according to ESPN Analytics. The Chargers are second on that list at 11 to 1 with 3% chance. Bart Scott back. Marcus is back too. Not exactly what <laughs> sure what happened. We know what happened. We know what happened. We know what happened. We know what happened. Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones made right. the call to the uh, electrical company and said, "Shut it down. <laughs> Shut it down." He's telling too much truth. Shut it down. <laughs> okay. Well, Swaggy, I'm gonna start That's with right. you on this one then. Which non-division winner has the best chance to reach the Super Bowl? I believe it's Dallas, um, and it has more to do with getting past Tampa and who you have to play. Look, we, I, I picked Philly to win the, the conference and go to the Super Bowl out of this uh, conference all year long. But I do believe that when you talk about the opportunities that they have to play a Brock Purdy, and we know San Francisco is good, Minnesota, if they beat the Giants, they've already beat the Giants if they meet with the Giants. And then Philly, like they beat Philly, obviously without Jalen Hurts. And with Jalen Hurst, the first time they matched up, it was a three-point game going into the fourth quarter with Cooper Rush playing quarterback. No matter how the game was played, it was a close game at that point without the quarterback. So I, I look at I look at Dallas, and the road is just easier. I can't pick an AFC team because Patrick Mahomes over there. Um, and 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 really, that's the thing because I actually took the Chargers to go to the Super Bowl out of the AFC um, in the preseason when we were projecting and all of the moves that they had made. But when you look at the NFC, it's the weaker side of the NFL when it comes to your your role to getting there, I believe, based on who's over in AFC quarterback-wise. So I got Dallas having the best chance if they get, if, if they get a chance to make a run. I mean, you had it right the first time. You look over my shoulder, you see the charge of the lightning bolt in the back. You look at this team is getting healthy at the right time, man. I believe that Austin Eckler doesn't get talked about and celebrated enough as far as his ability to catch the ball, be a dual threat. Now, this is, this is based on Mike Williams and his back, right? Because this can cost Brandon Staley his job if he can't answer the bell. But you talk about Keenan Allen on the outside. I love Gerald Everett and what he brings from the uh, tight end perspective. This team can score with anybody, and you talk about Patrick Mahomes. But, you know, Justin Herbert and, and the Chargers aren't afraid. They can go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. They can put points up with anybody when he's on. And this is his, his, his breakout party, I believe. This is his opportunity to really go, you know, the long route. But I think they've been in playoff mode for a while. I think they're exciting. I think with Joey Bosa getting back, now they have a little bit of balance and they can have the type of closers that they need in this game. And Derwin James is an enforcer. He's a star. He can change the game with big hits and turnovers and, and, and interceptions that way. So if I had to pick a team that was a non-division winner, I'm going to go to Superchargers because they are in a division with, you know, with uh, the Kansas City Chiefs. So they don't fear them. They respect them, but they know they can beat them. Well, I completely agree with Bartholomew. Um, I definitely think it's the Chargers. And I must say I'm very, very disappointed in Swagoos. <laughs> uh, uh, soliloquy that he just put you out there a few minutes ago. And, here's the, and, and here is the reason why. Here's the reason why. Because earlier in this show, Swagoo um, articulated that quarterback is an important position. Now, we were talking about Lamar Jackson. We were talking about very, him, very much so. him, how important, important the quarterback position is. So... Evidently, you just threw that aside when you're talking about the Dallas Cowboys because when Bart and I are talking about the Chargers, a big reason for that is Justin Herbert. You know what I'm saying? You, on the other hand, you're talking about Dallas got the better chance. I understand why, you know, Dallas don't have Cincinnati, Kansas City, and Buffalo to have to get through in order to get to that, to, the, to, 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 that, to that point in the Super Bowl. They're the Super Bowl berth. They just got San Francisco and Philadelphia to worry about. And I understand that thinking, but in the end, it does come down to quarterback play according to you, Swagu. And so oh, when you say God. Dallas you has go with the your best chance, it Here just throws go. me. It Here just throws go. me. It just throws me back a little bit. I just understand. Okay, I just don't let me give me a second. It, See, I really, really no, I'm not gonna let you do this. Don't cut. Not gonna let you do this. Don't cut. Not gonna let you do this. Okay. Let him talk. I'm not gonna, <laughs> don't cut my feet. I'm, I'm. I'm not gonna let you do this. And, and, and Bart, I want you to be. I want you to listen to this very closely. Okay, Bart. I want you to listen to this gotcha. very, very closely, because this is when this is when this is when Danielson flips the 
grip on Mr. Miyagi when it comes to this debate and this TV stuff, okay? Daniel now, son. Now, Daniel here's, son. Daniel son. Here's, here's, Daniel son. here's what my big bro know. Here's what my big bro know. He knows that I love the game of basketball. And every chance I get, I always want to talk about the NBA, okay? He knows that. And last year, he puffed himself up all season long about the Golden State Warriors winning the championship. Might I add, he was right. He was absolutely right. You know why, though, Bart? Because I heard it a thousand times. Because the East is the strongest conference in the NBA. I heard it a thousand times of that being a part of the reason he picked the Golden State Warriors to not only go to the finals, but to get to the championship. Because the Western Conference, am I lying? Do you like to pull old tapes yes. up for me up. You mm -hmm. said yeah, 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 a number yeah, yeah. You of times. Pull those old that wasn't the issue. Like, tell, tell me, tell me, tell me. No, 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 no. Oh. You go, you go. I will educate you. I did not say that. What I said was, Steph Curry is the greatest shooter on the planet Earth, uh -huh. and Klay Thompson you said, is yep. coming. And if he's even a shell of himself, that's all they would need. I didn't say anything about the East. Uh -huh. I said Clay and Steph. That's what I said. You didn't say. You did not say the Eastern Conference was the best conference in basketball last year? I did, I'm not saying I didn't say that. I didn't say that wasn't the reason. I didn't use that as the reason that Golden State would win. I said Golden State would win because would of Steph and Clay. Would you have picked them if they was in the That's East? That's what I said. Would you have picked so, so and, yeah. and maybe the answer to this, you would have picked. Okay, so here's the thing for me. Here's the thing yeah. for me. Would it have been harder? Yes. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.